Good morning everyone. I am Harshit your tech host and welcome to the Daily Tech News Bulletin brought to you by IT Voice. In today's news, we will be covering news about OnePlus 12R uses UFS 3.1 storage in all versions. India tablet market grew in Q4 2023 led by Apple. True caller service similar to phone directories says Delhi HC dismisses PIL. Google One crosses 100 million subscribers milestone after France India launches UPI and rupee payment services in Sri Lanka Mauritius Vivo V30 Pro series may launch soon in India RBI says no review of action against Paytm payments bank and more to skip to any particular news story use the chapters below and don't forget to subscribe to IT voice and stay up to date on all the latest tech news OnePlus initially stated that the OnePlus 12R would use UFS 4.0 storage for the 256 GB variant but later clarified that both the 128 GB and 256 GB versions feature UFS 3.1 storage this clarification followed discussions on Reddit and X prompting OnePlus to update its website to reflect the correct information the indian tablet market experienced a 21% quarter on quarter increase in q4 2023 primarily driven by high demand for 5g tablet despite this growth there was a 14% year on year decrease in shipments apple maintained dominance with a 25% share in q4 and throughout the year followed by samsung and lenovo The Delhi High Court dismissed a petition against Truecaller, comparing it to traditional phone directories and stating it's a service, not a privacy breach. The petitioner alleged Truecaller revealed details without consent, but the court viewed it as re-litigation and dismissed the case. Truecaller introduced Truecaller Assistant in India to screen calls and combat fraud, supporting Hindi, English, and English. Sundar Pichai announced that Google One. has surpassed 100 million subscribers google one offers additional storage space for free services like gmail drive and photos with premium plans featuring vpn and dark web monitoring the new ai premium plan provides access to gemini and upcoming generative ai features in docs and gmail Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched India's unified payment interface UPI services in Sri Lanka and Mauritius via a virtual ceremony. This initiative aims to strengthen economic ties and facilitate seamless financial transactions between the countries, aligning with India's neighborhood first policy. UPI services were also inaugurated at the Eiffel Tower in France earlier. spending india's global upi outreach vivo is preparing to launch the v30 series in india featuring models like the v30 and v30 pro the v30 pro expected to run on a mediatek dimensity 8200 chipset with 12 gb of ram and android 14 os boast impressive camera capabilities and other features like a large amoled display and 5g connectivity The Reserve Bank of India RBI clarified that it will not review its decision regarding disciplinary action against Paytm Payments Bank PPBL. PPBL was barred from accepting payments or top-ups in customer accounts after 29 February 2024 due to non-compliance issues and lack of transparency. However, PPBL can still credit interest, cash back or refund post the deadline and the RBI plan to release FAQs on the issue soon. This is Harsh signing off stay tuned and follow IT Voice for the latest tech news